Exercise 3.3 question is solve the following pair of linear equations by the substitution method, the first method, substitution method. The first sum x plus y is equal to 14 and x minus y is equal to 4. Let us solve, solve matlab find the value of x and find the value of y using the substitution method. Okay? Let us start. The first thing that we need to do is write both the equations and number the equations as equation number 1 and equation number 2. So, first let us number the two equations. Clear? After that, analyze both the equations and consider one of the two equations. Either consider the first equation or consider the second equation. So, which equation is to be considered? You can consider either of the two equations whichever you like. You can either consider the first equation or you can consider the second equation. Choice is absolutely yours. Okay? But it is always better to consider the simpler of the two equations. Now, you can decide whichever equation you feel is simple. If you feel equation number 1 is simple, consider equation number 1. If you feel equation number 2 is simple, consider equation number 2. Choice is yours. Let us in this consider equation number 2. So, equation number 2 is x minus y is equal to 4. Clear so far? In this, x minus y is equal to 4, write this equation in the form of either x is equal to something or y is equal to something. So, x minus y is equal to 4. Now, write it in the form of either x is equal to something or y is equal to something. In simple words, either shift x to the other side, that is right hand side, or shift y to the right hand side. Choice is absolutely yours again. Here it is better to shift y to the other side because it is minus y. When it goes to the other side, it becomes plus y. Right? So, when we shift y to the other side, we get x is equal to 4 minus y goes to the other side, it becomes plus y. And you get the equation in the form of x is equal to something, which you should number it as equation number 3. Right? So, first thing, we numbered both the equation. Consider a simpler equation. Shift one of the variables to the other side. Write it in the form of either x is equal to something or y is equal to something and number that equation as equation number 3. Now, what is the name of the method? Substitution method. So, we need to substitute something. Substitute what? Substitute this equation number 3 that we have got. Now, the question is where to substitute? Substitute in the equation that we did not consider and that is equation number 1. So, this method's name is substitution method. We need to substitute something. What? Equation 3. Where? In the equation that we had not considered that is equation number 1. So, from the presentation point of view, your next statement will be substituting equation number 3 in equation number 1. Why equation 1? Because it was not considered. Let us substitute x is equal to 4 plus y in equation 1. What we will get? x ke jaga pe 4 plus y. What we will get? 4 plus y plus y is equal to 14. So, now x is substituted as 4 plus y. Open the brackets. 4 plus y plus y is 2y is equal to 14. Variables on one side, constants on the other side. Solve it. You get 2y is equal to 14 minus 4 constants to the RHS. You get 2y is equal to 10, you get y is equal to 5. Once you get the value of y, now the question is how to get the value of x? y to mil gya. Now, how to find x? To find x, we have to substitute y is equal to 5 either in equation 1 or equation 2 or equation 3. Again, the choice is yours. But in this method, it is always better to substitute it in equation number 3. So, once you get the value of one variable to find the value of the other variable, substitute this variable ka value in equation number 3. Always it is better. So, substituting y is equal to 5 in equation number 3, we get x is equal to 4 plus 5. In the place of y, we have substituted 5. 
we get x is equal to 9, we got x, we got y, write the final answer, solution is x is equal to 9, comma y is equal to 5 and the sum is over. This is your substitution method, clear?